Good afternoon everyone, this is Mitch with Monroe Engineering Products. Today we're going to talk about a little known market segment in manufacturing dedicated to military service parts. Many Americans question the value they get for the dollars spent on military vehicles, airplanes, boats, ships, etc. But the fact of the matter is many of these systems last a long time. A good example is the current American Humvee. First developed in the 80s, almost 300,000 of these Humvees have been built and they will continue running for many, many years. The problem becomes when rebuilding these old vehicles again and again and again, many of the parts originally manufactured are no longer available. This becomes a problem because the process used to manufacture those parts in great quantity no longer exists. So the United States military starts looking for solutions to what appear to be quite simple parts to be produced at the same price they were made for in the past. And that's where Monroe Engineering comes in. Because we are the people who can take a look at one of these old service parts, develop a process by which to manufacture it, even though it may not be the same process that manufactured the part in the past. A good example of a service part that is no longer in production is this shift linkage right here that you see. Now anyone a little bit older, as I mentioned, will recognize this as a shift linkage, but the technology that produced these shift linkages is long gone. In particular, there's a feature at the end of the linkage called a stop. Now stops can be installed on a piece of round metal by welding on a washer or by pinching a piece of material into place to make something stop, but in this case, the material is spun from the rod pushed forward and made into this area, almost looking like a washer was attached to it, but it is actually part of the parent material of the rod. The threading of the end of the rod is very straightforward, and in fact, the bends required to produce the rod are straightforward, but they were originally produced by putting the features on either end when the part was perfectly flat, and then the part was installed in a machine called a press, that stamped it into its current shape. Monroe had to reverse that procedure. We had to shape the part first, thread it after the fact, and then recreate a long lost manufacturing process by which material is displaced from the rod and formed into a stop. Then, after certifying the material is made here in the United States, we use approved suppliers that meet very important government considerations to plate, certify, and present the part. Buying a service part for your military vehicle is no different than buying a service part for your 1968 Buick, except Uncle Sam dictates that the part be made just exactly right to very specific specifications, that the material must be certified, that the secondary processes like plating or other mechanical processes be done by qualified vendors providing a certified product. Whether you're waiting for a part for your 68 Buick, if you need military service parts now, Monroe Engineering has the resources to read the blueprints, understand the specifications, and give you a service part that works with new processes at an old price. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see others like it, please subscribe to our channel by hitting the link below.